Yo, what is going on, my uncles? It's that time again where you're just trying to watch a replay with the Smox or chat, and there's this child just smashing into your ears. But not, not for real, though. What's good, everyone? Back again with another ADV narration. We got Austin Matitos from Team Greece versus Passy G, or Passy G. I still don't know how to pronounce this dude's name from Team Germany. So we see Zapdos versus Salamence lead. Uh, this is kind of a sketchy lead because the Salamence can pull up with the Rock Slide, and it, I think it has, a, it has an alright chill chance to kill the Zapdos, but it's not 100%, so he definitely doesn't want to stay in, so Pesci G should definitely find a rock resist somewhere on his team. Asta also doesn't want to stay in uh, at risk of not killing with the rock slide, and then the HP Ice coming in, so I assume both are going to switch out right here, so we see we do see Snorlax and a Metagross come out from both sides. Now, the Snorlax doesn't want to stay in on a major match, especially not if this Metagross is banded, so I assume a Pert or something is going to get revealed right here. His own Metagross is going to get revealed. I see that meter match damage. That's most definitely not banded. That doesn't do jack shit. So, yeah, Passage needs to get out of there at risk of an EQ, especially if Austin Matitos' Metagross is banded. Uh, he can go into his Zapdos, I guess. Zapdos is a fine play. Uh, I don't know, if he has something like a Skarmory, that's alright. I guess if he has something like that. Uh, I guess Austin is going to go for the Meteor Mash or something like that. Oh, he just goes for the Hard Boom, as that's Banded Boom at... Oh, ooh, that just one-shots the Skarmory. I don't know, I don't, I don't think that's a 100% chance to one-shot Skarmory, but... Uh, if that's a roll, a nice, nice, that's, I guess, kind of lucky, because it gets some, like, semi-momentum. Uh, Pert comes out, as the Lax also comes out, so we see dual Snorlax on the field right now, it's kind of disgusting. So, Titar comes out from us, as the Body Slam comes out. Nice para, maybe? Nope, no para. So, yeah, we don't, we don't see filthy paras from these fat Snorlaxes. Uh, now the Snorlax doesn't want to stay in on a potential bandit move from the Tyranitar, because Snorlax's fit off is not that amazing. He tries, ooh, oh, that's an amazing play by Asta, holy shit, and he gets rewarded by it by a drop, and just by, yeah, he can just pursue it, I think. I think Pursuit kills from there. Yup, yup, oh, that's an amazing play, dude. Damn, he tried to catch the Metagross, but the Clay Doll also works, holy shit, that was a fire play. Um, now I assume Asta is just gonna, actually Asta doesn't really have a good switch in to this, because uh, if it's HP Grass mixed, Purge is obviously not a good switch in. Oh, I oh, he just hard fire blasts as the teacher just drops. Holy shit! Okay, <laughs> this game is going so fast. Look at all these mods dead on the screen. So he just goes for fire blast, gets some chip. If that would have missed, that would have been really awful for Asta. Uh, but yeah, I guess I, I would have definitely gone Pert and then Tected. But then if he has HP gas, you're in shit position anyway. So yeah, I, I guess I guess the play did make sense. So he goes into zap those as the fire blast comes off. Another fire blast hit. Does some nice chip damage. So we see that this is in fact leftover Salamence. I don't know if that was already revealed. Uh, maybe I'm just a dumb noob idiot who didn't just see that. Uh, <laughs> I just assumed it was like. I mean, I didn't really assume anything. But yeah, fire blast has come out. Passage can just go into Snorlax right here. Nice free switch in. The fire blast actually does do some chip. Doesn't do too much uh, because of the sand. Obviously, Snorlax cannot heal up. But yeah, it's only 20. Doesn't do too much. About a quarter of its HP. Now, uh, Asta doesn't really have a really good switch in outside of just brick breaking. Yeah, yeah. Brick Brick was the correct player right there. If he doesn't get the Body Slam para, oh, he does not get that para. Oh, yeah, I guess the Snorlax is going to... Actually, no, no, he can pull it back and zap those here to keep the Snorlax as a potential fodder for a late game. So, yeah, the Snorlax is really low. Um, so, we got Zapdos on Salamence action. We know this is... We know this can't kill the Zapdos, so he's just going to pull back in the Snorlax. T-Bolt comes out here. Uh, I assume he's just going to fire off a... What would he fire off? He fired off a Fire Blast, I guess, if he has that. Yeah, he does fire off the Fire Blast, as Passage predicts that and roars out. Really good play right there. Uh, gets him into the... Uh, gets him into the Salamis. I don't think from this range can kill with Dragon Claw or something like that. So he needs to pull it back. Yeah, Swampert is pretty obvious play right here. Uh, I assume Passage is going to T-Bolt on the obvious Snorlax play. He might play it safe and just HP Grass if he has that. Uh, he just hard HP Grasses. Uh, just playing it safe, expecting Asa to maybe stay in, predicting the Hidden Power Ice... Uh, Zapdos. So he T bolts again, gets some chip on the Snorlax. Body time comes out as that just kills with the sand. Uh, I didn't think that body time would kill, but so I'm I'm not assuming Snorlax's power, <laughs> I guess. So Metagross just comes in, kills the Snorlax right off there with the Meteor Mash. Now he can go into the Mens. Uh, Mens just basically claims one here if he connects the Fire Blast. He's already connected a few Fire Blasts, hasn't gotten paired yet, so the luck is definitely on Asta's favor. Fire Blast connects on the Metagross as uh, the last is Jirachi, so. Uh, is this over? Unless it's like unset HP grass, I think this is over because the Snorlax is low. Yeah, yeah, this is this is like over. Unless he has like HP grass coverage, or unless he's like, uh, can he win with Toxic? I don't think he can even win with Toxic Protect unless he gets like a lot of protects in a row. Because I think Earthquake does too much for Toxic Protect to stall it out. So, I think it's over unless he gets Ice Punch Freeze. I guess. So I guess he just oh he CMs up. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, EQ actually. Oh no, if he if that was Toxic Protect and he got like some double protects, I think he could have. Oh, hello? <laughs> hell, uh, what? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm not saying anything anymore. Okay, Hidden Power Grass Jirachi, that's so fucking fire, dude. That, that That's really hype, dude. Damn, that's hot. 
Yeah, I didn't think Plasti G would be able to win this. Um, but yeah, no T bolt para for Asta, so Asta just takes the L there. Damn. Uh, yeah, if that was Toxic Tech Drachi, he could have won with some uh, double tech tags and some low rolls. But yeah, that's um, interesting. <laughs> Let's just talk about this game because this is like a five minute game. Uh, like 24 turns went by. Uh, yeah, let's just talk about this because that's insane. Like HP Grass, I kind of said it as a joke because like that was kind of the only way he could win, right? Uh, unless he was like Toxic Tech with some low rolls and some double protect. But um, yeah, that was a really interesting game. Uh, really well played on both sides. I didn't really see any misplays, to be honest. Yeah, I didn't really catch any misplays. The hacks were definitely on Austin Matito's side because he hit like every single fire last. Passy G went for two buy slams, none of them paralyzed. So yeah, hacks were definitely on Asta's side, but Passy G still managed to pull through with that amazing set. <laughs> Dude, that Jirachi set is so heat. It's like Ice Punch TM, uh, HP Grass, like Fire Punch or something like some shit like that. That's powerful. Um, but definitely something I will be trying out in the future. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, game. I guess Doc's gonna show us the standings, which doesn't really matter. Yeah, this game was this game was really fire. Like I I just saw like five minutes and I was like, oh yeah, I need to record this game. Uh, I just want to get like some quick content out for the boys. But yeah, I, I saw five minutes on the uh, the timestamp and I was like, yeah, let me record this shit. I've heard something from some people. It's fire. I haven't watched it myself. Uh, so I just wanted to watch it and just like watch it with you guys. I guess uh, this is this is like how I watch all my ADV games. Uh, it kind of forces me to record. But yeah. Um, we see Doc going over with it with blue text, but it doesn't really matter because uh, team, yeah, we're in tiebreak right now, like I've already stated in my last video. I did a three way tiebreak between Team Germany and I think two uh, team, I think like two teams from the US. I'm not sure which teams, but uh, I, yeah, one of them is definitely Team Northeast with like uh, all the amazing players, which I thought was going to win at first. Um, but yeah, Germany is definitely one of them teams. So, Team Greece is out, I think they made like 10th place, I think they needed like a few more wins, like 2 or 3 more wins, and then they would have been in, but yeah, this game didn't really matter for that team, it definitely did matter for Germany though, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll be pumping out some content for the boys here, uh, because, see, this is the, this is the ultimate strategy, I'm just like ne ne neglecting my own channel, every time I get inspiration to record, I just record for Docker just said, ah, how to lose, subscribers 101, yeah, <laughs> okay, I don't know why I'm saying this, I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and, and uh, yeah, just sub sub subscribe to Docker because he makes quality content for the boys.